La Mirada, California, home to the historic La Mirada Disc Golf Course. Based in a residential community of Southern California, this championship level course's natural beauty is obvious to the eye, and its nuanced layout is so well entrenched in the history of disc golf itself. Yeah, this course is extremely important. I mean, it has so much history here. World champions, that's, that's what this course is, and it's what it's always been. You know, everybody one time or another, they've had experiences here. Well, this is where all the champions came from originally. If you didn't grow up to play in La Mirada, you weren't a world champion. This course is very important. It's, it's always been a championship level course. We used to have lots of people traveling from, you know, all over the United States to come to play the big tournaments here. This was still the greatest course in, in most of the United States. Budweiser used to sponsor tournaments out here. They would take up this whole park. This place would be crowded with spectators. We ran 20, 25 tournaments a year. The biggest one being the US Open Flying Disc Championship. $40,000 prize money, 20,000 spectators. Basically, we say it was just jumping. <laughs> First installed in 1976, the La Mirada course was a huge draw for early disc golf talent in the Southern California area and hosted some of the early pioneers of the modern game. Well, La Mirada was kind of like like the base, okay? It's like it started here as far as probably the second disc golf course to have baskets in it. Pasadena was the first. A year later, this was the second course to have baskets in the world. An extremely versatile course. It features two full 18-hole layouts, as well as one 18-hole par 68 super layout. The La Mirada course is very special. Um, many of us would consider it the jewel of Southern California, I would. There's topographical change, so you have on rolling hills and it's completely turfed, so you have grass throughout. Uh, it goes around the lake. You know, when we had to, brought the US Open there, we needed uh, more holes because of, to handle the players, so we expanded to another nine holes. And so uh, that's how it got to 27. We had so many people that wanted to play in, in particular tournaments that they added another nine holes uh, on the back, so which made it two 18-hole courses, and they just kept kept the holes there. With the two courses here, with you know the lakeside, it wraps around the lake. These gorgeous trees, the variety of trees, the rolling green hills. It's a versatile course. It's not flat like a lot of courses. You got a little bit of everything out here. You know, La Mirada was the only course that went in at the time with three different pin positions. You got elevation, you got uphill, downhill, hyzer shots, anhyzer shots, straight shots, wooded shots. You've got long holes, you've got short holes, you got control shots. The, the land was perfect for the disc of the day. The layout was great. Um, and that's changed, you know, as the discs have changed. Wide open, well manicured fairways, it always looks pretty. It's just gorgeous, it's just a gorgeous, walk in nature and uh, you know it's still progressing it changes every couple of weeks or so we've got different basket placements hosting historic events such as the u.s open and the world frisbee disc golf championships it's seen prime from its inception to become a disc golf hub for years to come its well-maintained fairways and clean environment draws you in with a variety of mature trees rolling hills and stunning lakeside views i put the first la Mirada open on and it was basically um, put on the weekend before the World Frisbee Championships. Uh, all the players were in town, so they came to La Mirada to play disc golf and warm up and play against the competitors that were in town. And then uh, after the weekend, they went down to the World Frisbee Championships. You know, obviously the weather in Southern California is awesome. I think that's one thing that's, you know, a key point. You can, we can play year-round. Every tournament, we have people showing up 5, 6 a.m here to help, here to volunteer, put up signs, you know, move baskets, whatever's needed. There, there's so many people that want to help this course, which is awesome. The amount of volunteers we have that are coming out here and working eight, nine hour days and not even getting paid for it, just helping because just for the love of the course and the love of the game. It's fitting that the first Disc Golf World Tour stop is in La Mirada and the proud community surrounding it can't wait to show it off. Hosting the very first event here at La Mirada is amazing. That's such an honor to hold here. Well, it's a classic, one of the early courses. Everybody should play it. If you've never been to La Mirada, there's not a better time to come out and either watch or play. It's, uh, it's the best course.